time, our first back-to-back 30-point -back <laughs> game since Michael Beasley in uh, March 1st, March 4th of 2008. Coach, if you just want to start with an opening statement, we'll go with the questions. Um, first of all, I just want to you know, thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this opportunity you've given me to uh, lead them in, you know, in my own program. I'm, I'm <clears throat> so grateful and, and honored and humbled um, for the opportunity. Second, like this was not fun. Right? Like, it just wasn't fun. It wasn't, it wasn't fun before, and it wasn't fun after. It was fun during. Like the game of basketball is fun, and watching young men compete and do it at a high level, that's fun. But you know, before and after, and somebody's got to win and lose, and you know, just go around with it. But it's not fun. I love Scott. I, mean, I never want to see him. Never a good Saturday. Scott loses, or Matt loses, or Grant loses, or Mills, Paul Mills loses. It never a good Saturday when that happens. So um, uh, thankful for the Baylor fans and the welcome. That was, that was really cool. And, um, and then it turned out to be one heck of a basketball game. Man. So credit to both teams. Doing a great job. A little surreal, like being here on the other bench with a different team. Um, it was different, but not uncomfortable. Emotionally, when that video is playing before the game and you're seeing all the great moments from your time at K-State, like what kind of is going through, or at Baylor, excuse me, what's kind of going through your head? That if my hair was black. I tried to like glance away and not look at it because I knew I was Really try not to it. I'll, I'll look at it later. Hopefully, I'm better than that. Coach, from the time you started with Marquise to what he is now, how, how much progress have you seen? Um, you know, um, a, a train is a very powerful um, piece of machinery, but if you put it on sand, it can't go anywhere. All we've done as a staff is just put some tracks on there and just so that he can go wherever he wants to within the boundaries of the tracks. And for him to embrace that, right, and say, okay, coach, I, you know, because some people see those as um, limitations, but it's not. It allows you to propel your game further by taking uh, some things away and, you know, adding some things, helping them to allow them to see certain things. And Marquise, by nature, uh, we have these personality things we do, and Marquise, by nature, is a tiger, right? And the tiger is bigger, stronger, faster than a lion, but the lion's the king of the jungle, right? And um, we, we're, we've been helping Marquise learn how to be a lion for parts of the game, and then at the right time, because a tiger will only eat what it kills, and so at the right times in the game, we need him to be a tiger, you know, just go eat and kill. And he's learning when and how to do that. And, you know, keeping his teammates involved. And I, I'm just so proud of him because it's it's hard work, right? He's worked really, really hard in the off season. And uh, I mean, not just in basketball, right? He's, he helped us recruit the team, him and Ish, right? And, and then, you know, he's constantly in a group text that they don't allow me to be in talking to the guys about, you know, mental preparation for the game and bringing guys along and helping coach. It, 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 it makes coaching so much easier when you don't have to coach the ball all the time and you can coach the other four guys out there. And so that's, that, it's all a credit to him and his hard work. You guys were on the road and won a pair of tough games as underdogs here. What do you think you proved to people who maybe doubted you heading into the stretch? Um, I, we're not trying to prove doubters. Right, we're, 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 we're trying to just continue to believe in ourselves and we know um, where we wanted to get to. And uh, we're not there yet, right? So, I mean, had we lost this game, it wouldn't change that we've made great strides as a team. And it, because we won it, it doesn't mean that we don't have room for improvement as a team. And so we're just trying to keep it, like, compartmentalize it. I, 
I do know that, I, I don't know when the last time a team had to play three ranked teams in a row and two of them on the road. You know, that that's a, that's a great accomplishment for these young men, but none of that matters if we lay an egg you know, the next game, right? So it's like, so it's what's the next thing that we have to do? Uh, so we don't pay attention to the outside stuff. Jerome, they were eight for 25 from three. Was that a big game plan for you guys to put pressure on those guys out there? Uh, well, we knew they're, you know, arguably the best um, group of guards in the country and, and great three point shooters and multiple guys, more than 50% of their shots are from the three. And so, um, you know, we wanted to try and make it as difficult as possible. Some of them, they just missed, you know, like that miss. And, and then some of them, we were right on them and they made them, you know, and it's just, it's a make or miss game. You know, you make them look like a great coach, you miss them, you look like a bad coach, you know, so. Early in the season, Ish wasn't seeing the floor very much. Maybe he saw the floor a little bit now because of David's injury, but has the buy-in been better? And he kind of, if it was big. But, you know. Ish is not seeing the floor because somebody's injured. It's just, it's just seeing the floor because he is given the kind of effort and um, has embraced playing the way that's going to allow us to have a chance to win every night. And whether he was making shots or not making shots, his effort level, his attention to detail, his, his uh, on defense, like just his communication out there, um, it, it has improved drastically. But he shows it in practice, right? And if you, because I'm not a dude that, if you don't do it in practice, you're not going to do it in the game. And, and he has embraced that, and that's why he's just like. I think for the second straight game, when uh, Naquan picked up the second foul, you sat him. How much of that was, is that your philosophy or how much was it without David you needed to, to keep him in the game? Yeah, um, Quan has to, uh, I, I, Quan hasn't earned our trust yet in that when he picks up two fouls that he won't get the third one, right? And so that's just something we gotta keep working. There's some, so there's some discipline things that allow him to get fouls that he can clean up. And as we continue to work on it, he's gonna get better at it and stuff. But you know, also when you're going to half tied and you say, okay, my man only has two fouls, I don't have to worry, you know, like he could play more in the second half, I, I was okay with that. But I, I don't believe in following the guy out in the first half if I can trust him. Just in general, what do you think has made Marquise and Keontae such a potent scoring duo? Uh, they are dudes, right? Like, uh, I think at my press conference, I said, we're going to get some dudes, yeah. right? They, they are dudes, right? And, uh, I mean, it's no fairy dust. It's no, um, you know, sets that we're running. Them dudes are dudes, right? And when it's time to play, they 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 want it. They, I mean, they want it. And so it's, uh, I mean, and when you have two of them out there, and then you got guys like Ish and Cam, and you know, other guys that are, you know, because defense can't take everything. And you just need the other guys to, to help them. And I think we've been able to, and I really hadn't paid attention to the statue, but you got Ish with double figures, right? And then Naquan had nine, so he was close to double figures. You know, and then, you know, so every little thing, but to Nate, everything matters, right? Everything matters. If Tyke doesn't get his two points, we don't go to overtime, right? So everything that happened out there on the floor matters. When you were coming off the court after the prior round, I saw um, you embrace with someone from Baylor's bench or personnel for a while. Um, what was that moment like, and who was it, I guess? Uh, that was Jared Nunes, and uh, Jay Nunes. Uh, we worked together for probably 14 or 15 of the 19 years. I just love him. He's, he's allowed. Um, He's helped me, you know, grow as a person. He's kept me up to date on all the trends, and I feel like I've helped him grow as a man and a husband and a father. And so we have a special relationship. <coughs> those guys on that bench, man, those are some special dudes. Out there. You know, so you, you just you just hate it when you have to see if somebody in this thing this is going to be hurt. What'd you tell Scott Freeman? We didn't really talk much pre-game. We did a little thing with King McClure. Last night, we got to spend a little time together and just picked each other's brains about you know, 
what I could have done better, his assistant, what he could have done, <laughs> what he could have done better um, to help prepare me for this position. Just, just different things, challenges that we're facing. It had nothing to do with basketball. That you know, they want to make sure I was exercising. You know, just, just things that people who love each other care about. What do you think boosted the shooting percentages on this road trip? Warm weather? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't know. I, I just know hard work pays off. And these guys live in the gym and they really work on their craft. You know, and so um, you know, I think this is hard work paying off. And then considering he, he like you said, he has room for improvement on defense, um, still how important is Naquan to that side of the floor and what he's been able to do, blocking shots and stuff like that? Uh, he's, he's super important. That's what we need him on the floor. You know, on the floor. That's why we, there's some fouls like you're like, hey, that's a good foul. And then there's some that are like, come on, man. You know, and we got to get rid of the come on, man fouls. You know, like, dude, you know, because we need him on the floor. Anything else for Coach? Yeah. Are you glad this is over this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's this, like I said, it, it, it was. He used, always used to say, Tanks, better to get blown out than to lose a close one because then it bugs you all night long. He's not going to sleep tonight, right? And I'm not going to sleep tonight. You know, but I'm not sleeping tonight. Like, he, I don't know. Maybe it's not, I couldn't, like, celebrate with our guys. Well, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, the, the, what that means is that, you know, it's like, I don't know, I mean, married in here, but, like, we were together for 19 years years like some people don't have like hadn't been with their children or their wives for 19 years you know and so so especially I, I, it'll, I, it'll get better you know it'll get better you know so, but, but yeah it was, it was fun as everybody was acting like it was you're gonna take them out to eat in Manhattan I don't know they, they don't like they'll just come up and you know we'll, we'll it's all about what the other person's comfortable with and he tried to make sure that Whatever time we spent together, I was comfortable with this and stuff. And y'all are like, it's not fun. Like the day yeah. before the game, I'm not like going out having a great time. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a bundle of nerves, right? And, and then <laughs> all the way up until that horn, so we start the game, and then all of a sudden the nerves go away, and you can. Right, but until that point, you know, so it's not like we sit around and have a dollar, have some beers and stuff before <laughs> the ball is tipped. <laughs> you obviously got a ring tonight. I know you got a few rings. Here, one obviously more proud of than others being a national champion, but to get that ring um, for the game was that kind of like a good ending point in that ready to take on this game and everything that came after. I, I figured they would, I, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, I, I figured they were gonna um, give me like it was the Big 12 championship ring from last year, and uh, so I mean, that, that's a pretty special thing. It's hard to win a Big 12 championship, man, so I, I, I just, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. And actually, uh, Michael Beasley did that four in a row. So that's awesome.